Hi guys, welcome back to Wildebeard Reviews, and welcome back to What's On Your Pull List, the weekly show where we talk about our favorite day of the week, new comic day. Now, on this show, every week we do two things. One, we talk about the comics that I'm getting this week, and we talk about your comments from last week's What's On Your Pull List video, and we usually do the comments first, and then we do the comics that I'm getting th uh, this week. Today, we're going to flip that. We're going to talk about the comic books that I'm picking up this week first for one simple reason. I'm not getting any comic books this week. How about that? There is almost nothing new coming out this week, at least from the big two from Marvel and DC. I've got the vast majority of what I get is from Marvel and DC. They have almost nothing coming out this week. My uh, my LCS uh, attendant told me that when I was picking up my comics this week, that next week uh, Marvel's been doing this week on, week off kind of thing, and next week is a week off for them. And then for DC, next week is kind of an off week as they're going through with changing their distributors, leaving Diamond and going to the other two new distributors that are out there so they're kind of having a gap week there as they move through that transition and then as far as Boom Studios, Image, IDW I don't get a ton from them but even for them it looks like it's going to be a pretty short week so I would not, uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to be the only one out there that doesn't have anything new coming out this week so what does that mean for the channel? What are we going to talk about if there's no new comics this week. Well, we went through a pretty long period very recently where there were no new comics to talk about, and you know what? We found something to talk about. So right now, I left it on the floor, we are doing rewind reviews on Supreme Power. By the time you're watching this Monday morning, I'm recording this uh, Saturday evening, um, you guys should have probably seen reviews up through maybe issue 10 or 11 uh, of this series. It's been a phenomenal series thus far. I highly recommend it, even though I'm not done with it. Um, I've never read it before. A uh, viewer of the show, Adam, sent me this, um, and it's been incredible. I love it. Thank you again, Adam. I know I keep saying that, but I mean it. Thank you so much. So we'll be keep uh, doing the Rewind reviews for that. Um, I actually still have a few comics from last week to get through, so those might trickle into Monday. My LCS got uh, one of their boxes was lost in shipment, uh, so I had to go pick up about half of my pull list on Saturday, so we'll get through some of those. Uh, also, just some other stuff here. I, I just picked up the last two volumes of Why the Last Man books 9 and 10. These are kind of the older editions of these trade paperbacks. Um, these are about six issues per volume. I think there's a newer uh, iteration of the volumes that are about 12 uh, issues per volume. So um, I'm going to finish those. haven't really talked about it much on the channel, but I think when it's all said and done, I'm going to have a few words to say about Why the Last Man. It's been pretty good so far, and there's been a TV show in the works for like for ever for why the last man and you know what you know there, there's always going to be something to talk about in the world of comics i've got my next rewind review lined up right after supreme power so if we get supreme power done maybe we'll just launch right into that one be no shortage of things to talk about it, but if you want some, if you want me to talk about something specific, I have a way for you to do that down in the pinned comment down below. I have an Ask Me Anything tip page where you can leave a monetary tip to the channel and ask a question or suggest a topic, and I will do a video on that question or topic right here on the channel, just a standalone video addressing whatever you send in. It could be about comics, movies, pop culture, anything like that. Just follow the link, leave that tip, and leave that question or topic there, and we'll talk about it here on the channel. I don't talk about it often. I usually leave it at the, uh, the end of the video, so we'll talk about that one here at the front. So, next week, going to be kind of a weird week, don't have a lot going on in the world of new comics, but we'll have plenty of other stuff to talk to talk about. Comics have been around for a while, there's plenty of stuff to dive into. So, now to the second half of our video here today, let's talk about your comments from last week. And we'll kick this off with Shadow Apple that says that comic shops in the UK are finally back open this week. Batman 93, Immortal Hulk 34, Transformers vs. The Terminator. 
Terminator 2, Batman Beyond 44, and Once in Future 8 are all on my list. It's going to be fun. Yeah, Batman Beyond 44 was a pretty solid one. Immortal Hulk, I actually just finished reading volume 5 of that one, which takes us up through vo uh, issue 25. I need to pick up uh, volume 6 of that, which I believe is out. It's been a great series thus far. I'm not the biggest Hulk fan. That one I'm just kind of reading uh, just for my own uh, edification. I read a lot of comics that we don't talk about here on the channel. But yeah, good, good stuff last week. And then we got Ricky Bobby saying, this week I'm picking up Die 11 Once in Future 8, Batman 93, and the Green Lantern 80th Anniversary Spectacular. Not the biggest fan of $10 comics, but I'm a big Green Lantern fan. I will. It will be great to have some Green Lantern stories besides Grant Morrison's current run. Yeah, that $10 price tag kind of turned me off uh, of the Green Lantern one. I do love me some Green Lantern, but it's one of those character sets that I really enjoy, but I don't know if I was if it was good enough to shell out the 10 bucks for it. But if we start running dry on stuff to talk about next week, and I want some new comics, I got the itch to go to the LCS. Maybe I'll pop over there and pick up that Green Lantern one. All right, I love signed comics. Says New Comic Book Day is back to wreck our wallets. Huzzah! This week I'm grabbing Batman 93 covers A and B, Immortal Hulk 34, Justice League Dark 23, and White Widow 4. Really enjoying the latest Batman run, especially the build up to Joker War. Good to be back. Stay safe and keep the videos coming. One. 100%. Y'all stay safe out there. I know um, I, I live in Texas. Um, our numbers for uh, the Rona are, one, are on the rise. It sucks. Wear your mask, guys. It's it's bad out there. Let's get the numbers down. Don't politicize it. It's a virus that doesn't care about your politics. Sorry if that offends you and you're already reaching for the dislike button, but it's true. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, last week, uh, New Comic Book Day was back to wreck our wallets. Actually, it was worse for me this week because I had to go back twice. Uh, when I went back earlier today, I took my wife and daughter with me, and of course, they found stuff to buy for themselves. My wife bought a jigsaw puzzle, and my daughter bought a uh, um, little uh, Disney princess um, storybook, which she is going into first grade. A little bit of a proud papa moment here. She's going into first grade uh, this coming year. She's already reading it like a second great level so oh proud papa moment so so there we go all right no next up we got john ramirez no x-men i know dude looking forward to thor though do you have any knowledge of the revenge of cosmic ghost rider number five going digital only so first off no X-Men. I need me some X-Men. There was none last week. There's none this week. I need an X-Men fix, y'all. Uh, Thor, awesome last week. Holy crap, that was a good book. And no, I do not have any knowledge of Cosmic Ghost Rider number 5 going digital only. Um, I meant to look that up before I filmed this video, and I forgot. My apologies. Um, I'll do some digging on that. Maybe I'll throw a comment or something uh, back at you. But yeah, maybe that's one where uh, sales weren't good enough to continue on with a physical copy of that book and they only wanted to do digital because it's cheaper to produce because you just send everyone the file for, for digital downloads. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to dig into that one. All right. Next up, we got uh, Luna Moody says, hey, Wildebeard, how you doing? This Like uh, you, this week's poll list is going to be a bit pricey. My list is Batman 93, Red Hood 46, Batman Gotham Knights 10, Justice League 47, Teen Titans 42, Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey 2, Batgirl 46, only because of it being a part of the Joker War. I'm not even remotely a Batgirl friend. The only uh, uh, Bar uh, Batgirl I liked was Cassie. I can't stand Barbara, though I liked her when she was Oracle. I'm also not a fan of Stephanie. So, um... Batgirl 46, really the only piece of it that was involved with Joker War was like the very last panel. Spoilers for that, it's literally just Barbara coming home and the Joker's hiding behind her front door. That's all there is uh, to Joker War and, and, and Batgirl 46. So I think 47 through 50 is where uh, Barbara Gordon or Batgirl is going to be involved in, in the Joker War. But also um, from last week, Teen Titans 42 Man, that was a good issue. It's one of the first issues that I've seen in the realm of DC Comics or Batman stuff specifically where we've seen a character other than Batman really deal with the death of Alfred. I love that. I love the character of Damien, so I'm glad that book focused on how that affected him and also maybe how it affected Batman in his relation to Damien a little bit. 
great, great book. They knocked it out of the park on that one. All right, next up, Cam Davidson. I'm picking up Kill Lock 3 through 5, Flash 76, Power Rangers 50, and Transformers versus the Terminator 1 through 1 and 2. I gotta look at that Transformers versus the Terminator. That sounds kind of baller, but Power Rangers 50. Holy crap, that was a great issue last week. Man, so good. Spoilers for it, but man, you had the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. You had the Omega Rangers there. You had the Solar Rangers show back up from the Beyond the Grid story arc. And you had the Ranger Slayer in there all going up against the Anointed. Oh, so cool. And then that shock ending with that other character coming back and saying they're coming whatever is coming if they can scare that character that bad that's going to be a bad time for the power rangers going forward super excited to see what comes uh, in power rangers uh, beyond where we are now all right next up we've got sapphire comics sanctuary wind one by tinian the fourth was pretty decent i'm adding it to my sub list now onto my pull so yeah wind was a new series by james tinian that came out last week and i didn't pick it up because i already had a beefy week but well uh, i might I might i'm not going to promise it when I, if, I, if i like i said if i need some new comics to read and i go back out to the shop I'll take a look at that one. Uh, actually, I picked up a new image number one that came out last week that I didn't talk about. Uh, that Texas Blood. Um, I heard really good stuff about that one, and when I was back in the shop today, I did pick up that one, so I'll have a review for that in the next... Uh, actually, you might already see it. Maybe Monday night. We'll, we'll see. It'll be up on the channel soon if it's not already there. Uh, like I said, I'm a Texas boy. Sounds like a good issue. All right, moving on. Uh, Mercy number three, Batman 60, Batgirl 46, both covers. Batman 93, both covers, Batman Beyond, Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey 2, Justice League 47, or Justice League Dark 23, Red Hood, Outlaw 46, Teen Titans 42, seems like a good jumping on point, Star Wars Bounty Hunters 3, Thor 5, 14 comics, yeah, I'll probably have to break up this week and pick up at least Batman 93 and Batgirl 46, I have no idea what my LCS decision will be on DC Comics, as this is the final month of Diamond Distributors for DC Comics in the United States, talking about about what we talked about up there at the top so yes i will say that this is probably a really good jumping on point for um teen titans 42 i have a review for that one up here on the channel uh, if you have any questions about that if you haven't been reading that one feel free on that video or any video that uh, i post up if you have any questions about previous story arcs that i've that are, are, are in that title please feel free to ask me i love talking about uh, comics with you guys love uh answering questions and responding to comments so so yeah, 42, good issue, good jumping on point. All right, and then lastly, we've got Michael Rasmussen who says, am I the only one who thinks the designer will turn out to be the Joker? When the Joker was talking to the bartender a couple issues back, he told the story about how the Jester wanted to become the Devil. Also, they both apparently know Batman is Bruce Wayne. I think the Joker war has already begun. So, yes. So, hang on. Before we jump into that comment, I will say spoilers for Batman 93 if you haven't had a chance to read it. If you haven't had a chance, we're going to talk about that one a little bit because there's some stuff I want to uh, dive into on that one. Um, so spoilers if you haven't read it. Nice to see you. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you up next week. So let's talk about spoilers for, for 93. So I think you got it half right in your, in your guess for um for batman 93 from last week it says thinks that the designer will turn out to be the joker so i don't think that i think the designer was a real character that was not the joker um in this in issue 93 it was revealed that the the designer in the current timeline not in the flashback was was a dead corpse being piloted by one of joker's henchmen and everything that's been going on uh, has been the joker kind of twisting the designer's plans to start and initiate the Joker War. So you were right, the Joker War has kind of already begun. This is kind of the opening salvo um, in the main Batman book for the Joker War. However, I do think the designer is still out there. Actually, I hope and I pray that the designer is still out there because he's a very cool character that I think it would be a major disservice when you when it's really hard to make new characters in comics and have them stick and have them become popular I mean there's a reason you know uh, Harley Quinn is lauded after because she was one of those you know lightning in a bottle style characters it's really hard to make new ones and have them stick like that and I think the designer could become a character like that and if we never see or hear from the designer again after this particular story arc I think that's just a waste of a character 
Joker, that could be a fantastic new addition to the Batman Rogues Gallery. So, guys, that's all the comments from last week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said at the top, uh, go to that Ask Me Anything tip page, leave a tip to the channel, and uh, ask me a question, suggest a topic, and we'll do a video here on it. No comics next week, but, you know, it's the comics industry. They're going to keep churning, so two weeks from now, we'll have more new comics, and I'll be right here talking about them. Uh, in the meantime, we'll have other stuff to talk about here on the channel, like maybe Why the Last Man, definitely Supreme Power, and anything else that pops up. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. If this first time here at the channel, you caught us on a weird week with no new comics, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button anyway before you click away. Um, if you want to support the channel more than that, we already talked about the Ask Me Anything tip page. Other than that, I have my Patreon down there as well. Also, I got a P.O. box, my email address, and all my social medias if you want to reach out to me any one of those ways. Thank you again so much for watching. Uh, until next time, we'll see y'all at the comic shop.